Hey everyone, welcome to another top 10 list. This week's top 10 list is the culmination of my $10,000 Las Vegas hunt. That's right, I went to Las Vegas and I actually did pretty good. So I brought home 10,000 singles. Normally I bring home 5,000, but yeah, I did okay. So I went through 10,000 singles and you guys have seen me go through those uh, 1,000 at a time for the last few weeks. I finally finished and I put together a top 10 list of things that were found. So let's kick it off with number 10. Uh, some of these are real cool, some of them not as much, but these are all from those Vegas finds. So number 10, I found a couple birthday notes. Uh, here we've got 7-11-2009, so that's July 11th, 2009. Uh, this one is backwards, 1959, February 10th. And then we've got 2009, June 16th. So those three were the three birthday notes I found. Uh, birthday notes are pretty tough to find. And to find your own birthday, well, your own birthday would be basically a one in 10 or one in 100 million shot. <laughs> so birthday notes of your own birthday, really difficult. But I'm sure these are somebody's birthday, right? All right. Number nine. On number nine, I found, I don't think these are anything special. I just think they're funny. Uh, you can see how these are both ascending numbers. This one is 01444577. And this one is 45588800. So they start low, they go high. It's an ascending ladder. And there are multiples where you've got the fives and the eights and the zeros. And here you've got the fours. Like there are chunks of no numbers. Uh, somebody calls these chunky ladders. They're not. They're each worth a dollar. There's nothing special about these. But if he wants to call them chunky ladders, I'm going to call them what they should be called, chunky monkeys. I've got two chunky monkeys that I found. Had to bring those out. That is number nine. Number eight, controversial note. I searched through 10,000 notes only one of them had this stamp on it, and I don't recall ever seeing that stamp anywhere else. But it says FJB, and I can only imagine what that says. And it's in a little bubble as if it was coming from George Washington. Because George Washington, the guy who could have been king, but after two terms relinquished power, even though there was no term limits at the time. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that FJB would be coming from his mouth, based on the evidence. So, I was just amazed to see such blatant stupidity from somebody out there. But yeah, I found it, and I figured I'd show it. So that's number eight. Number seven. The oldest note I found in this group was a 1963A, and it's in actually really nice shape. And if I remember right, this might even be a spot filler, but you'll have to check my other video for that. Uh, oldest video, 19, or oldest video, oldest note, 1963A from New York. That is number seven, 10, nine, eight, seven. Number six, along the lines of ladders, this one is six, five, and then it goes two, three, four, five, six. So what is that? One, two, three, four. It has five digits in a row for an ascending ladder. Is it worth anything? No, but it is a little harder to find. Uh, I wouldn't expect anybody to buy this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally pay any money for this, but I found it and I think it's neat. And that's what collecting is about. If you find something cool and you think it's neat, that's why you should keep it. You shouldn't keep it because you think you can sell it to somebody. That's the wrong attitude to have. If you are a dealer, then you should be selling anything and everything that you aren't afraid to put your name on. But if you're a collector, sure, save everything you want. Just don't pay for stuff that isn't worth anything. So that one is number six. Number five, kind of along the same line. This one is four, and then it goes... Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then it's got another four. So if you look at the bookended fours and ignore them, you have seven, six, five, four, three, two. That is a six digit descending ladder. I mean, eight's the max. So <laughs> if you have an eight digit ascending ladder or an eight digit descending ladder, you're talking a 
$1,000. I'm not saying this is $1,000. I'm not even saying this is $100. But this one may be worth a little bit of money. It may be worth 5 to 10 bucks. Uh, once again, I collect notes. I don't sell notes. So I'm not, I didn't pull this out so that I can sell it to somebody. I pulled it out because I think it's neat. Would I pay money for this? No. But at least I can understand people who would want to pay money for this because now you're talking rare. If it's an eight-digit descending ladder, there's only, what, seven different ways to do that, eight different ways to do that. So for a seven-digit, you're talking 80, <laughs> 10 times the number, and the six-digit, you're talking um, 800 times as rare. 800 times as common, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it, it's much more common to find these compared to an eight-digit descending ladder. Six digits, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're going to call that one number five. Number four, I found a couple five-digit. Normally I save quads, but these had five in a row. One, two, three, four, five ones. One, two, three, four, five threes. So I thought that was neat. And, oh, I can follow it up with this one here, which has one, two, three, four, five fours. So three notes that are five in a row. Ones, threes, and fours. Once again, thought that was kind of neat. Normally I, I find and save quads. Finding five in a row. That was pretty cool. That was number four. Number three. I found a binary, fives and eights, and fives and zeros. Two binary notes found in circulation. These you don't see too often. Um, these are probably worth, you know, probably worth a few bucks, maybe five to ten bucks. It's just a note that doesn't pop up. Like I said, out of 10,000 notes searched, I found two. That's getting rare. That's definitely on the rare side. That one is number three. Number two, I found a radar. Starting from the outside, working in, you have zeros, nines, ones, and sevens. So zeros, nines, ones, sevens. As you get closer to the metal, uh, it reads the same forward and back. Uh, this is a one in 10,000 shot. You don't find radars too often, and they are true fancy serial numbers. They are actually worth money. Uh, these will sell for... 20 to 40 dollars depending on the condition so yeah that was that's a find that's a win that one is number two and finally number one i found another radar but this particular one was a little nicer because you had four digits in a row they happen to be fours so that's kind of cool uh, it's also a trinary trinary does not add any value to it but it does look neater and if i had these two notes both up for sale I would assume that this one would probably sell before this one. Doesn't mean it's worth more. It simply means it's more likely to sell. Uh, 6744, 4476. Pretty cool looking note. <laughs> Definitely a keeper. Definitely in that $20 to $40 range. And this one is actually in really nice shape. So you could probably send this off to be graded. And you may get just a slight bump for having a high grade on this particular thing. Like I said, grading doesn't increase the value, but if you have a 67 sitting next to a 66, well, yeah, the 67 is worth more money. Anyway, this one, I don't know what the grade is. I just know it, it's crisp, about uncirculated for sure, really nice shape, and I was surprised that this was a radar. I'm pretty sure when I found this note, I saw the four fours and set it aside as quads. And it wasn't until I revisited the note that I discovered that it's actually a radar. I think I even remember saying to myself, wow, if that 6-7 was a 7-6 or a 7-6 was a 6-7, it would be bookends too. <laughs> but who cares about bookends when you've got a radar? Sometimes it's just a little harder to spot. So... Those are my top 10 finds from my Vegas trip. Uh, stay tuned for my After the Hunt Vegas special when I go through all my stars and everything else that I found for my uh, $10,000 trap search. But once again, this being a top 10 list, 
here we go. The top 10 finds from my $10,000 search. All right, guys, if you learned anything new, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. I love reading all your comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.